Pisces, hi. So um, this is gonna be a reading for the month of May 2020. <laughs> I love saying May because it's so short. It's like May. <laughs> um, so I'll start it off with a uh, oracle card. Then I'll be going into the reading, and then I'll uh, close it off for you with another oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you, dude. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box. That's my dog. He's like 16 pounds. And it felt like I have a, a, a St. Bernard in here. I don't know what he was doing. Oh, he's doing that thing where they, they do that in the blankets. and You know, that fluffiness kind of thing. So. You done? All right, well, let's see. So from the soul's journey, you get success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. That is freaking success. Oh God. All right, let's uh, get you into the reading. Alright, so the overall energy for the reading, the strength card, uh, times of strength, which is telling me that um, you might be going through a little bit of a mm, eh, kind of period, you know, not so great, you need to be strong uh, here, yeah, showing up here in the reading also that things are a little low um in the pisces world here so starting off the reading you get the page of cups crossed by the empress <sighs> somebody's offering love here somebody has their arms wide open their heart wide open everything open to love could be you could be you not saying it's a good thing or a bad thing but we'll see um in your focus you just want something more calm, more serene, more not trouble, pretty much. You know, you, you, you're you done with the drama, you're done with everything. You're like, I want things to be calm, freaking calm. Uh, in your recent past, the Hierophant could be a marriage for some of you, could be spiritual teachings, right? Um, starting to get into learning about yourself, because that's what spirituality is all about, you know, pretty much. Um, digging into yourself. So it could be that you started to do that um, in your past there, your recent past. Um, your strength, you, your own energy, being balanced within yourself, being you. Um, in your immediate future, lots of intuition, lots of... Um, for some reason, I'm getting telepathy with this because this is, you know, when it's in reverse, it's poor communication or well, not in reverse only. This person just knows. They just know. They don't need to communicate. They don't need to talk. Right. Um, so it's like for some reason, I'm getting a lot of communication at an energetic level more than a physical level with this one. But we'll see. Um Supporting this reading, the Five of Cups, there it is, that sadness, that looking at those empty cups, you're surrounded by full cups, filled cups here, and you're still trying to grab on those empty ones, right? Um, the energy that surrounds you, and you may not be aware of it, the Four of Cups, Sadness, discontent, uh, boredom, all of that going on. 
There's something that bugs you. You're hoping for a change. I see this as change right now. You know, some, some something, some action on your part that's just going to change the energy that you're in. And I feel like it's coming shy. You know, uh, this is the potential outcome. Somebody is taking action here towards something. Let's see. Let's clarify. Let me clarify the strength card. The Knight of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Three of Swords could be dealing with a Leo here. Well, you got a lot of um, signs on the table already, but it's shown up twice as Wands. Well, the Strength card and the Knight of Wands. I see a lot of uh, pain between you and somebody else. And it may have been because somebody didn't quite open up emotionally completely. They were coming at it from more of a logical view than anything, um, instead of just opening their heart up. And that actually created a lot of pain. Yeah. And I had the whole explanation in my head and I forgot to voice it so that you can hear it. And, you know understand what I mean um but yeah I see you know when somebody wants love right they're, they're seeing it they're feeling it uh and then they're coming at it but a little bit shut down a little bit not hey this is my heart um it's gonna create pain it's gonna create pain because you're holding off you're not opening up because of some fears so you're bringing those fears into the mix and then guess what's going to happen? Those fears are going to come up and it's going to create pain. Um, let me see this Empress. The King of Cups, the Five of Cups again, and the Four of Swords. Uh, somebody's trying to heal this state of sadness this that they find themselves in. Um, and I feel like it's not taking on your whole life, if that's you, right? I mean, you, you're doing stuff, you're, you're doing day-to-day -day things and shit like that. It's not affecting you in that aspect. However... It's an underlying kind of energy that you're feeling of discontent, of sadness, of unhappiness. There's something there and you're trying to heal that. Um, because whoever this is that you got going on here, there's a lot of love there. There's a lot of love. You might not show them how much love there is there for them. And you might not know how. like something happened to you in the past that closed you off and it's hard for you to open back up and it's creating a lot of troubles for this situation that you got going on let's clarify the six of swords the nine of swords the ten of swords and the three of wands yeah you're see but you're not you're not facing this sadness this uh, whatever's taking you down you're not facing it and it's normal we all do that we all want to run away as far as we can from it not look at it not feel it why the hell would i want to feel that uh because you have to because otherwise you're gonna bury it you're gonna shove it down you're gonna say it's all good and then when the shit hits the fan as in when love comes in true love comes in that's going to come back up and it's going to mess things up. So you're like, I don't want to face it. I don't want to deal with the pain that I'm going through. I don't want to. Uh, I'll just wait it out. Not a good strategy, but you do whatever you want to do. You know, in the end. Let me clarify the moon.
the High Priestess, the Three of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. Again, uh, logic comes in. Your intuition is screaming at, at you. Hey, 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 remember me? Why don't you take me to play this game that you're playing? And you're like, no, I gotta be logical about things. Uh, your intuition is hidden from you, by you. Oh, come on. It's there, in the dark. You're keeping it in the dark. You're like, I don't want to hear it. I gotta be logical about things. You know? Uh, could be in regards to work. Could be in regards to whatever the case. It's more of a material kind of thing. And you may be thinking, well, I don't need emotions to, to decide this. Yes, you do. You need emotions to decide in any kind of aspect in your life. Let's clarify the High Priestess in the immediate future. The Ace of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. You're getting there. You're getting there slowly, but surely you're opening up to your intuition because you're going to realize, no, this is not getting me anywhere. Being logical and hiding from my emotions and what it is that I feel, even if it's good or bad. It's like, think, think of it that way. That's human nature, right? When we're happy, we're like... We're trying so hard to hold on to that feeling. We're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love this feeling. I want this feeling. When we're sad and when we're in pain, we're running away like crazy. Why? Still a feeling. Why would we give more power to one feeling than another? They're, they're all feelings. They have to go through us. And trust me, when you go into that pain, it's not going to be more painful than it was the first time you dealt with it. Never. Because that's what we're afraid. I don't want to be experiencing that pain again. You won't. It's not going to be as painful as then. When it actually happens. So you're opening up. Slowly but surely opening up to your intuition. You're letting love back in. Let's clarify the five of cups. Yeah, overcoming this pain. Once you do that, once you align with your intuition, once you hear your intuition and then listen to it, uh, you're going to open up to love. You're going to feel really, really great, really powerful, really good about the fact that you did. And this sadness, this whatever chapter that you're going through is going to come to an end. And it'll allow you to move, to take action, to do stuff. Because this sadness is keeping you into a stagnant mode where you're not doing much, you know? Let's clarify the Four of Cups. Yeah, there's resistance here. There's resistance of letting this go, letting the sadness go. Letting it, it, It's like it became a part of you somehow. And you're like, I don't want to, I don't want to take that part off kind of digging that part there you know um while you're feeling the need to just let it the fuck go pretty much and you are let me clarify the ace of swords The Chariot, the Death card, and the Star. Wow, things are shifting fast for you. Whenever you open up to your intuition, whenever you're true to how you feel deep inside, things are going to start opening up for you like crazy. It's like all of these things that are supposed to happen for you are kind of waiting around this bubble of you not listening to your intuition. And when that opens up, all of these things are coming in for you, which is going to change things dramatically for you. Um, you're going to figure out what it is that you want. You're going to go get it. You're going to figure out what it is that you don't need anymore. And you're going to get rid of it. You know, and it's happening fast. There is an opening here, a sudden opening happening for you. Let me clarify the page of swords. Nah, there it is. There it is. It took its time to appear. A very strong connection. You're going to start figuring out where you've been deceptive, where you've been sabotaging things, where you've been in your head about things a lot, um, where you've been immature. It's it's going to, this thing is going to make, it's going to point out to you eventually, where you're going to be like, well, Okay, they did that, that, that. What did I do? You know, and you're going to start figuring things out for yourself when it comes to this connection. 
uh, fast acting things happening here. Fast uh, change in energy for you, which is great because this is where it's supposed to be going. Um, once you let go of this resistance. Let's um, see what the universe has. The Three of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna come all out of this waiting, waiting around for things to happen, not really doing anything, and you're gonna stand in your power. The minute you do that, as I said, you're gonna start acting on things. You're you're gonna understand that we create our life, pretty much. And if we don't take any action towards anything, nothing's gonna change. You're realizing that, and change is coming with that. Nice. Let's close it off with the Oracle card for you. Wandering path. Enjoy the journey <laughs> that I just explained. Like, it sucks, but enjoy it. Uh, well, once you open up, it's not going to suck anymore. You know, so enjoy the journey. So Pisces, that's what I have for you. I hope this helped and I'll see you next time.